In the realm of romantic cinema, Julia Roberts has solidified herself as an iconic figure, capturing the hearts of viewers with her magnetic performances. From her breakthrough role in Pretty Woman to her captivating portrayal in Notting Hill, Roberts has mastered the art of love on screen. With her infectious smile and undeniable chemistry with co-stars, she effortlessly draws audiences into the enchanting worlds of her romantic films. Join us as we explore the top 10 Julia Roberts romantic movies, where passion, laughter, and heartache intertwine to create unforgettable cinematic experiences. Number 1 My Best Friend's Wedding, 1997 My Best Friend's Wedding is a romantic comedy film released in 1997, directed by P.J. Hogan. The movie revolves around the story of Julianne Potter, played by Julia Roberts, who realizes she is in love with her best friend Michael O'Neill, Dermot Mulroney, just as he is about to marry another woman. Well, we're getting married. <laughs> he was in me. I can see why. Look, she has known him for what, like five seconds? I can't lose him, George. I'm a busy girl. I've got four days to break up a wedding and steal the bride's fellow. Oh! Julia Roberts' portrayal of a woman torn between her feelings for her best friend and her desire to see him happy is both relatable and captivating. Roberts brings a perfect blend of vulnerability, charm, and determination to her character, making Julianne a flawed but endearing protagonist. Roberts' on-screen chemistry with Dermot Mulroney and Cameron Diaz further enhances the dynamics of the love triangle. Dermot Mulroney portrays Michael with sincerity and warmth, creating a character torn between two women he cares deeply about. Cameron Diaz shines as the sweet and innocent Kimberly, providing a delightful contrast to Julianne's more complicated personality. This comes at a very inopportune time. Marry me. I wake up before you put up the film's memorable scenes, including the iconic karaoke bar scene, the, scene, together. the restroom talk and the ending, showcase Hogan's ability to balance humor and emotional depth. I'd like to take you to the church. So you can walk down that aisle and marry the man of our dreams. Because he sure wants to marry you. Number 2 Notting Hill, 1999 Notting Hill is a charming romantic comedy that has become a classic in the genre since its release in 1999. Directed by Roger Michelle and written by Richard Curtis, the film offers a delightful blend of humor, heart, and an enchanting love story set in the vibrant neighborhood of Notting Hill in London. The movie follows the life of William Thacker, played by Hugh Grant, a lovable yet bumbling British bookstore owner who leads a rather uneventful existence. Everything changes when he encounters Anna Scott, played by Julia Roberts, a famous Hollywood actress, who stumbles into his shop one day. From this chance meeting, an unlikely romance begins to blossom, with the glamorous world of Anna's fame colliding with William's ordinary life. Julia Roberts' performance as Anna Scott is simply captivating. She effortlessly embodies the allure and vulnerability of a megastar, while also displaying a genuine warmth and relatability that makes her character endearing. Hugh Grant shines in his role as the lovably awkward William Thacker, delivering his trademark blend of self-deprecating humor and vulnerability. The scene I'm Just a Girl in Notting Hill is one of the most iconic and memorable scenes in the movie. The scene is emotional, romantic and heartbreaking, and showcases the chemistry the and acting skills of really both real. Roberts and Grant. You know. The scene has been widely quoted and parodied in popular culture, and is considered and one of the best it. lines in romantic comedy history. I'm also just a girl. Standing in front of a boy. Asking him to love her. Number 3 Pretty Woman 1990 Pretty Woman is a romantic comedy film directed by Gary Marshall and released in 1990. The movie tells the story of Vivian Ward, a young and charismatic prostitute portrayed by Julia Roberts, who is hired by a wealthy businessman named Edward Lewis, Richard Gere, to be his escort for a week. As they spend time together, their initial transactional relationship evolves into a genuine love story. Julia Roberts delivers an outstanding performance as Vivian Ward, capturing the character's vulnerability, wit and charm. Robert shines in her portrayal of Vivian's transformation from a street-smart prostitute to a confident woman who discovers her self-worth and learns to believe in love. Richard Gere and Julia Roberts had obvious chemistry upon their first meeting, however, Gere was not planning on taking the role. He was on the phone ready to turn down the part when Robert slid him a post-it note with the words Please Say Yes written on it. 
He accepted the role right then. One of the most memorable moments in the film occurs when Edward offers Vivian a necklace and playfully shuts the box on her fingers. Interestingly, this delightful scene was not part of the original script. Richard Gere, in a playful improvisation, added this gesture as a joke, and the genuine laughter from Julia Roberts, coupled with her glance towards the film crew, beautifully captures the spontaneity of the moment. Another iconic element in the film is the red dress worn by Julia Roberts. Over the years, this dress has achieved legendary status in pop culture, symbolizing elegance, transformation, and the power of self-confidence. Number 4 Mystic Pizza, 1988 I think we got a ringer here. Mystic Pizza, released in 1988, is a charming coming-of-age romantic comedy that has garnered a dedicated following over the years. The film revolves around the lives of three young women working at a small pizzeria in the town of Mystic, Connecticut. Mystic Pizza is a real pizza parlor, located at 55 West Main Street in Mystic, Connecticut. Writer Amy Holden Jones was vacationing in Mystic one summer, saw the pizza parlor, and was inspired to write the story. After the movie came out, the real Mystic Pizza shop became so popular, lines would stretch to the sidewalk and patrons would regularly steal mementos from the restaurant. In Mystic Pizza, Julia Roberts portrays Daisy Arojo, a feisty and independent-minded young woman who dreams of a life beyond the confines of her small town. Roberts delivers a captivating performance, infusing Daisy with a perfect blend of vulnerability and determination. Roberts effortlessly brings out Daisy's rebellious spirit, her frustrations, and her yearning for something more. Mystic Pizza not only showcased Robert's undeniable talent but also marked a significant milestone in her career. Her performance in this film helped solidify her status as a rising star in Hollywood. It is no surprise that shortly after the release of Mystic Pizza, Roberts went on to achieve critical acclaim and widespread recognition for her roles in films such as Steel Magnolias and Pretty Woman. Number 5 The Mexican 2001 The Mexican is a 2001 crime comedy film directed by Gore Verbinski, starring Brad Pitt and Julia Roberts. The movie tells the story of Jerry Welbach, played by Brad Pitt, a hapless mob courier, who is assigned the task of retrieving an antique gun known as the Mexican. However, his plans are complicated when his girlfriend, Samantha, played by Julia Roberts, becomes involved in the dangerous journey. Julia Roberts delivers a solid performance as Samantha, showcasing her talent and charm. Although her character starts off as somewhat of a damsel in distress, Roberts adds depth to the role and brings a sense of vulnerability and determination to Samantha. Oh. Baby, what are you doing? You said this was your last job, Jerry. What do you want me to say? I'm sorry I can't facilitate that request at this time. The old lady wants me to quit. Fuck off. Yes. Huh? Something like that. Like a Exactly! I'm not an insurance, sweetie. If you get on that plane, you will never, never, ever see me again. You got me? Her chemistry with Brad Pitt is evident, and their interactions provide some of the film's most engaging moments. Robert's portrayal of Samantha goes beyond the typical romantic interest, as she displays a mix of strength and vulnerability. She showcases Samantha's frustrations and desires, adding complexity to her character. Roberts effortlessly brings a sense of authenticity and likability to the role, making Samantha a relatable and sympathetic character. If two people love each other, but they just can't seem to get it together, when do you get to that point of enough is enough? Number 6 Duplicity 2009 in Duplicity is a 2009 film directed by Tony Gilroy, starring Julia Roberts and Clive Owen. The movie is a clever and intricate spy thriller that combines elements of romance, suspense, and corporate espionage. Julia Roberts delivers a captivating performance as Claire Stenwick, a former CIA agent who becomes entangled in a complex web of deceit and double-crossing. Roberts brings her trademark charm and charisma to the role of Claire. 
she embodies the character with a mix of intelligence, wit, and vulnerability, making her a captivating presence on screen. Claire is a woman who is highly skilled at manipulating people and situations to her advantage and Roberts effortlessly portrays her as a master of deception. One of the standout aspects of Roberts' performance in Induplicity is her chemistry with co-star Clive Owen. Their characters, Claire and Ray Koval, are former lovers who find themselves on opposite sides of a high-stakes corporate rivalry. Roberts and Owen have great on-screen chemistry, and their interactions are filled with tension and flirtation. They play off each other's strengths, creating an intriguing dynamic that adds depth to the story. Throughout the film, Robert seamlessly transitions between moments of lighthearted banter, intense action sequences, and emotionally charged scenes. Roberts effectively conveys Claire's internal conflicts and motivations, allowing the audience to empathize with her character's choices. Number 7 America's Sweethearts 2001 America's Sweethearts is a romantic comedy film directed by Joe Roth and released in 2001. The story revolves around Gwen Harrison, Catherine Zeta-Jones and A. Thomas, John Cusack, a glamorous and high-profile celebrity couple who have recently separated. Lee Phillips, Billy Crystal, their longtime publicist, is tasked with promoting their upcoming film while keeping their personal issues under wraps. Caught in the middle of this chaotic situation is Kiki Harrison, Julia Roberts, Gwen's sister and assistant, who is desperately in love with Eddie. Roberts effortlessly portrays the lovable and down-to-earth Kiki, who finds herself torn between her loyalty to her sister and her growing feelings for Eddie. Roberts brings a natural likability to the role, capturing the audience's attention with her radiant smile and relatable portrayal. One of the highlights of Roberts' performance is her comedic timing. She skillfully delivers the film's humorous moments, injecting them with her trademark charisma. Whether it's navigating the chaos of the press junket or engaging in witty banter with the other characters, Robert showcases her versatility as an actress and consistently shines in her scenes. In addition to her comedic skills, Roberts also portrays the inner conflict and longing of Kiki with sincerity, allowing the audience to empathize with her desires and struggles. I hope that's enough for you. And you, you son of a bitch, here are your eggs. There you go. What the hell is wrong with you, Kiki? A lot, actually. And, you know, I cannot believe that it's taken me this long to figure it out. And, 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 and I'm going to go for a long walk now just to simmer down. But before I do, I just would like to cut through the bullshit. You see, sister, the reason why he's not technically seeing anyone is because he's still technically hung up on you. And you, you moron! The only reason she's here besides trying to salvage her precious career is to serve you with divorce papers. There, I've said it. I've done all I can do here. Number 8 Something to Talk About, 1995 Something to Talk About is a 1995 romantic comedy drama film directed by Lassa Hallstrom and starring Julia Roberts in the lead role. Set in a small southern town, the film explores themes of love, family, and the complexities of relationships. Julia Roberts delivers a charismatic and engaging performance as Grace King Bashan, a woman caught in the midst of a marital crisis. I would just like to know if anybody else here is slept with my husband. Right. Is there anyone who for any reason has had any kind of sex with my damn husband? I think I have a right to know. Grace, just, just make an out count. I mean, what in the name of God has gotten into you? Daddy. Are you trying to humiliate your whole family? What the world does he think about? Probably the same thing he was thinking. Roberts brings her signature charm and wit to the character, infusing Grace with a sense of vulnerability and strength that makes her relatable to the audience. She effortlessly balances the character's emotional turmoil and moments of humor, capturing the nuances of Grace's journey. Roberts showcases her impeccable timing and natural comedic talent in the film's lighter moments, injecting the story with lightheartedness and levity. She delivers sharp and witty dialogue with aplomb, creating an enjoyable viewing experience. She conveys the raw emotions of heartbreak, anger, and betrayal with authenticity, drawing the audience into Grace's inner world. In Something to Talk About, Roberts also exhibits excellent chemistry with her co-stars. Her interactions with Dennis Quaid, who plays her estranged husband, provide some of the film's most intense and emotionally charged moments. Their dynamic is palpable, and Roberts skillfully portrays the complexities of their crumbling relationship. Number 9 Runaway Bride 1999 Runaway Bride is a romantic comedy film released in 1999, starring Julia Roberts and Richard Gere. Directed by Gary Marshall, the movie follows the story of Maggie Carpenter, Julia Roberts, 
a woman notorious for leaving multiple grooms at the altar. Maggie Carpenter is walking down the aisle. Seems very confident in her approach. She's at the first pew. Bride seems to be a bit hesitant. She's turning. She's turning in. Oh, she's running. Where's she going? Lock the door! She likes to dump grooms right at the altar. Plows down the aisle. Knock her I Graham, Richard Gere, a New York journalist becomes fascinated by Maggie's story and travels to her small town to write an expose on her. Julia Roberts delivers a delightful performance as Maggie Carpenter in Runaway Bride. Known for her charming screen presence and ability to portray relatable characters, Roberts brings her signature charisma and likability to the role. She effortlessly embodies Maggie's free-spirited nature, capturing her vulnerability, determination, and fear of commitment. Roberts' chemistry with Richard Gere, who reunites with her after their successful pairing in Pretty Woman, is undeniably strong. Their on-screen dynamic is filled with wit, banter, and an undeniable charm that adds an extra layer of enjoyment to the film. The duo's natural rapport and ability to play off each other's comedic timing make their scenes together enjoyable to watch. Actually, there is no Hail Maryland, the actual town-slash-area used for filming Runaway Bride is called Berlin, also in Maryland. There was such a response from tourists looking for hail after the movie was released that signs were erected along the highway and on the main street of Berlin welcoming them to hail. Number 10 Eat Pray Love 2010 Eat Pray Love is a film adaptation of Elizabeth Gilbert's best-selling memoir, directed by Ryan Murphy. The story revolves around Liz Gilbert, Julia Roberts, a successful writer who realizes she is deeply unhappy with her life. I need to change. Since I was 15, I've either been with a guy or breaking up with a guy. I have not given myself two weeks of a breather just to deal with myself. Feeling lost and unfulfilled, she embarks on a life-changing journey across three different countries. She travels to Italy to explore the art of pleasure and the joys of food, eat, then to India to seek spiritual enlightenment, pray, and finally to Bali, where she discovers the balance between love and finding herself love. Julia Roberts delivers a captivating and soulful performance as Liz Gilbert. She effortlessly portrays the inner turmoil and emotional vulnerability of the character, drawing viewers into her transformative journey. Roberts' charisma and relatability shine through, making Liz Gilbert's struggles and triumphs all the more engaging. Roberts excels at capturing the complexities of Liz's emotional journey. She effectively conveys the character's initial dissatisfaction with her life, the moments of self-doubt and vulnerability, and ultimately, the sense of empowerment and self-realization she experiences. Robert's portrayal is nuanced and authentic, allowing audiences to connect with Liz's personal growth and empathize with her challenges. In all the years you've ever undressed in front of a gentleman, hasn't been that many. All right, well, has he ever asked you to leave? Has he ever walked out, left? Because he doesn't care. He's in a room with a naked girl who's won the lottery. I'm so tired of saying no and waking up in the morning and recalling every single thing I ate the day before, counting every calorie I consumed so I know exactly how much self-loathing to take into the shower. I'm going for it. I'm no interest in being obese. I'm just through with the guilt. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna finish this pizza and then we're gonna go watch the soccer game. And tomorrow we're gonna go on a little date buy ourselves some bigger jeans. As we conclude our journey through the top 10 Julia Roberts romantic movies, we hope you've been reminded of the power of love and the beauty of heartfelt storytelling. Julia Roberts' remarkable performances have touched our hearts and left an indelible mark on the world of romance on screen. If you enjoyed this countdown, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more captivating film explorations. Until next time, may love continue to inspire and uplift us all.